Hey guys, today I'm here with a Cambridge interview question. This is an integration problem which requires us to find the integral of x cube times e to the power minus x square dx from 0 to infinity. So now let's start solving this problem. I'm going to rewrite the integral here but without the boundaries and we can add them back later at the end. So we have x cube times e to the power minus x square dx. We can write x cube as x times x square and the x we can use to substitute when we find the derivative of minus x square. So we're going to be using integration by parts here and I'm going to show it in a very easy method. Let's go ahead and write this down as x squared times x times e to the power minus x squared dx. Now I'm going to multiply and divide by minus 2 so that we get minus half times x squared times minus 2x times e to the power minus x squared dx. So now let's use integration by parts to solve this. Let's call this part A and let's call this part DB. So now we have A is equal to x squared and that gives us DA is equal to 2x dx. Now using this formula, we'll have DB is equal to minus 2x times e to the power minus x squared dx. So to find B, we'll have to integrate this expression and we'll have the integral of minus 2x e to the power minus x squared dx. So now to solve this integral, I'm going to be substituting minus x squared as u. u is equal to minus x squared. That gives us du is equal to minus 2x dx. And you see we have minus 2x dx right here. So this is going to be an easy integral. We have b is equal to the integration of e to the power u times du, which is just e to the power u. So now substituting this back in here and using the integration by parts formula, we have minus of half times ab, which is x squared times e to the power u. I'm going to be substituting u back as minus x squared, but I'm going to do that in the next step. So uh, now we have minus the integral of b dA. b is e to the power u and dA is 2x dx. So let's move on. So from this we have minus half times x square times e to the power minus x square. Now I'm plugging u is equal to minus x square back in here. Uh, now let's take this minus inside and in a minute I'll show you why we do that. Plus the integral of e to the power minus x square times minus 2x dx. So now this is exactly the integral that we just evaluated and we know the answer to this is e to the power minus x square. So now we are left with minus half times x square times e to the power minus x square plus e to the power minus x square. Now this is not our answer because we have to put the boundaries back in. So the boundaries are 0 and infinity. But infinity is not like a real thing. I mean it is a real thing but we can't put infinity as a number. So I'm going to substitute this as b and we'll take a limit. So we have minus half times the limit of b tends to infinity of x square times e minus x square plus e to the power minus x square from 0 to b. Alright, so this gives us minus half times the limit b tends to infinity of uh, b square upon e b square plus e to the power minus b square uh, which is just 1 by e to the power b square minus 
now we have to substitute 0 in. So 0 square times e to the power minus 0 square plus e to the power minus 0 square, which gives us which gives us minus half times the limit b tends to infinity of b square plus 1 upon e to the power b square and this gets cut out sorry I forgot to put the brackets here because 0 times anything is 0 unless it's infinity now we have minus e to the power 0 which is just 1 so now what happens if this integral doesn't converge do I start crying do I give up on school? Do I give up all on my dreams and stop recording? Of course not. So let's get back. Minus half times the limit b tends to infinity of b square plus 1 upon e to the power b square minus 1. So now if you see this part tends to infinity, so does this part. But e to the power b square clearly tends to infinity much faster than the numerator because the numerator is just b square plus 1. So now we know that this tends to infinity much faster and it's going to take over the numerator so we can take this as 0. So now we all we're left with is minus half times the limit b tends to infinity of minus 1. So now we can just remove the limit and be left with half uh, and there's no integration constant because this is an because this is a definite integral. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this integration problem. This was asked as a Cambridge interview question in 2017. Hey guys, if you've made it till here, you're a legend. Please click here and subscribe for more content and keep watching.